Hey, what's up? Rato Tech here with another video. So recently a friend of mine asked me if I could help him recover his laptop because someone had stolen it. Kinda I wasn't sure about getting the laptop back because I had a similar experience like two years ago. So I thought maybe I could do this video so as to show you what you should do to prevent and what ways you can be able to recover your laptop in, in a situation whereby it ends up in the wrong hand. So in this video, I'm going to give you two categories. One is prevention because I'm going to show step by step on how you can secure a laptop and prevent or rather make it hard for the thief to steal it or in a circumstance when he or she has stolen it, it makes it easier for you to recover it. Secondly, I'm going to show you how to recover a stolen or a lost laptop or a misplaced laptop. And by the way, if you do enjoy my videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers in the next time. And it will really mean a lot if you help me achieve this. First step is to secure or encrypt our device. For those running on Windows 10, this is simple. Just come to the taskbar on the search bar, sorry, and type it local. Then select on my laptop. I've already turned this on, so there's no need of doing that. But in case, on, in case on your device it is turned off, make sure to turn this. So, what this basically does is to secure your hard drive, making it hard, difficult for third party persons to use your laptop. And also, okay, let's say someone stole your laptop and uh, they want to sell it obviously the first thing they're going to do is to reinstall windows so that all your data is lost and they have the laptop to sell and by encrypting your hard drive it's going to render that hard drive useless meaning they have to buy another hard drive also let's say that you keep important information such as your bank details bank passwords your passwords and, and all that information then you might need to secure that kind of data so by encrypting that hard drive it makes it very very difficult for anyone to for anyone to use the hard drive meaning at least to preventing the the person from stealing them okay someone will argue but this doesn't solve anything they still be able to sell the laptop eventually because they can exchange the hard drive and then move on well, wait a minute, the second step got you covered. So now let's head to the second step. The next step is to secure your BIOS. I really wish I had an easier term for saying this, but basically that's what this is. Secure your BIOS. For this, you're going to boot into BIOS and create a security password. So this is what's going to happen. For this method, power on your laptop and then boot into BIOS mode. That, that depends with your laptop functions key which one boots into BIOS. It can be either of the function keys. For me, it is F2. So you can see before I boot into BIOS mode on my laptop, it requires the password. So what basically this does is to secure your laptop for someone who wants to install Windows on it cannot be able to install Windows 10 without having the BIOS password. So I'm going to enter my password and show you how to, how you can set this on. Locate the access level administrator. So because you're the administrator of your laptop, click on this. You can see mine is installed, but I've not installed a user password so that any other person can use it. So you'll enter your current password, then create a new password and confirm that then after that one you will have secured your laptop using you will have secured your BIOS. obviously i know you're asking what is the advantage of having a BIOS password okay the advantage of having a BIOS password is that it makes it difficult for the average person to bypass BIOS because they'll not be able to access anything meaning even if they change the hard drive or change any other thing they won't be able to 
to go past by your head. It's difficult for the person to use that laptop or steal any that data from it. Also remember that the key objective of what you are trying to do is to stall so that you can get more time for what is coming next. So the next step I'm going to show you how to track your laptop in case it flows or what measures you should ensure you have so that in case your laptop is flows you can easily track it. So in this next step we are going to ensure that our laptop is still secure. So instead of using the local sign-in option you can use a Microsoft account linked to your phone number and then set your two-step verification so that in at whatever circumstance the person uses the forgot password option they'll have to verify using your phone number meaning they'll not be able to access the data that is in your phone this is going to be advantageous to you because it's also going to make it easier to track the laptop in case the person powers it on at any given time let's see how to do to go about it for this click on the start button and go to settings then select on your account then on the account select sign in option as for me you can see my signing option is already on microsoft account but if for instance you had the signing option for the local account you can instead use this other option for the microsoft account well this is kind of still weak because someone can still bypass because you have just signed in with your Microsoft account so to make it secure we are going to set up a two-step verification process so that we can be able to use our phone number in case we forget or in case our laptop in case our laptop is lost we can still be able to track it next we are going to set up the two-step verification process and for this click on my account click on my account and then select email and account and every email that's on that particular device is going to be shown here and then select on the particular email address that you're, yeah, that you're using to sign into your device and click on manage this is, uh, this is going to open the live signing option for, micro, for microsoft enter your password to sign into your microsoft account then after you sign in click on security and then turn on two step verification two step verification turn on select on that and then this is going to give you an option of using your for me i normally use my email address as a two-step verification process so you can continue proceed and set up the two-step verification process unless the person has your login details it's going to be very very difficult to log into this computer meaning your data is going to be safe we are still going to be able to buy more time for this step you really need to name your laptop in a unique way so that it's it's easier to differentiate. So for example, me, I've named this laptop Ratchet Tech. So let's assume that someone has stolen my laptop and I want to recover it. So to make recovery easier for both me and Microsoft, one, on the search bar, type find my device to toggle this to on. After that, Always ensure that your location is on. Next, I'm going to show you how I can find my device. Log into your Microsoft account on another device considering your laptop is loaded. And then, now, head to get more information and then select a laptop. You can see for me, the laptop that I'm, I want to find is find my device is Rattle Tech and it shows exact location where my device is located.
So these prevention methods are very, very easy to apply and uh, they will help secure your laptop in situations whereby you cannot locate your laptop. I can't promise that they will work 100% efficient but it's better trying than not. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your support. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I guess I'll see you around.